Okay, so this is called the daylily, common daylily. This is actually considered an invasive species. This was actually introduced here originally, I believe, as a food crop. I don't know if it was from Asia or not, but it was introduced here as a seed, uh, a food crop. I don't know if it's the roots that they eat, but I know that the flowers are edible. And as you can see over here, it's getting ready to bud. There's buds coming out all over. And when it buds, I'll do a taste test on the flowers and I'll describe the taste of the flowers. Yes, they are edible. I do eat them. And I will show you how to eat them. But uh, these were given to me, though you can see over there by my mailbox, over there, they grow everywhere around here. So these were actually given to me as a, as a gift for my birthday one year. And so I planted them here to, you know, make it look like I was grateful for the gift. And now they're growing and they're getting bigger and bigger every year. But it makes a beautiful flower. I don't mind it here. It's just I wouldn't have planted it the way I did knowing it's going to get this invasive. It's this big, actually. But you can see what it looks like. You can see here's a close-up of the leaf. And here's a close-up of an early bud. And I will show you the, you know, the mature buds and flowers once we get close to uh, the stage where it flowers. And like I say, we'll do a taste test on it. All right. So I figured I would add this to my invasive species list. Yes, this is an invasive species, though some people may differ with that opinion or that fact. They might say, well, no, it's, 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 it's been naturalized. That's a term you're going to hear when it comes to these invasive species. Uh, you can hear people use definitions like naturalized. So in other words, it was introduced and now it's native. And if you have to, this gets into a big debate, which I'm not going to get into about invasive species. But generally, my videos are generally going to cover around plants that are going to take over and crowd out other plants and be very invasive around your property. That's where I'm going to start saying invasive more or less because the actual definition of invasive species can vary quite a bit. So we will eventually do a video all about that in and of itself. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.